Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to another Pokemon TCG video. Today we're going to take a look at a very straightforward but extremely powerful deck that's been seeing a little bit of play at City Championships recently, and that's going to be a Landorus EX Crobat deck. Now, Crobat is a card when it came out, I didn't think it would be spectacular, but turns out it's actually pretty decent. Crobat, of course, has the ability Surprise Bite when you put it into play from your hand. Uh, to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, three damage counters really isn't what it used to be. When you have Pokemon EX that have 180 HP or sometimes even more nowadays, three damage counters is just not as good. I mean, you would have to use six Surprise Bites to knock out a lander is EX, just to put it in perspective. But turns out when you actually use Crobat and, well, we can actually use Golbat as well. Sneaky Bite puts two damage counters and you put him into play. Combined with your other attacks, it can actually add up to be quite a bit. So Crobat is seeing play in, in a few more decks nowadays, uh, but it's mainly Crobat plus a big basic Pokemon. Uh, of course, we've seen Crobat and Wobbuffet. Crobat and Seismitoad is another one we've seen. And uh, Crobat and Landorus is a very powerful one as well. So, um, the idea here is just to get a bunch of Golbat and Crobat into play. Use Sneaky and Surprise Bites to put extra damage counters out there. And be super aggressive and try to take your prizes as quickly as possible. So, we have a 4 4 4 Crobat line. Uh, it's worth noting that Zubat has the ability Free Flight means it has free retreat pretty much always because uh, when well, there's no energy on it it has no retreat cost and there would be no uh, no reason to put an energy on Zubat in the first place since we're not going to use wing attack so Zubat effectively pretty much always has free retreat unless there's a Garbodor shutting off your abilities anyway um yeah the heavy Crobat line is going to be great just to get extra damage out there and I would say there, there's nothing better at getting quick damage on the board than Landorus EX. Hammerhead does 30 and then 30 to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Um, again, 30 doesn't seem like a lot nowadays. But Landorus gets to benefit from strong energy, first of all. Going to add 20 more damage to your attacks. Muscle Band, going to add 20 more damage to your attacks. And Fighting Stadium, going to add 20 more damage to Pokemon EX getting attacked. So for one energy with, with strong energy muscle band fighting stadium, you can effectively hammerhead for 90 damage to the active and 32 benched Pokemon. And when we add in Golbat and Crobat, all of a sudden these hammerheads are adding up. There's damage all over the place and you're getting knockouts faster than you know what to do with. So Landris and Crobat are a pretty decent pairing and that's what we're going to explore today. Now, Seismitoad EX is a big problem for Landorus EX, so we're actually going to be running three copies of Howlucha as well. This is just a great hard-hitting Pokemon for one energy. Flying Press does 60, but again, with strong energy, Muscle Band, Fighting Seating, we can actually hit for 120 damage for a single energy against a Pokemon EX, and that's pretty big. So Howlucha, uh, definitely an important player in this deck. So... That's really it. Just get Crobats, Hammerhead away, Flying Press if you need to. And uh, Crobat actually does have a decent attack as well. Skill Dive does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And uh, Crobat can be an awkward Pokemon to knock out sometimes. 130 HP, resists fighting, so you never know when you can use Skill Dive. Just keep that in mind. Even Golbat has Swoop Across, does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So just keep in mind those attacks do exist as well. The name of the game for this deck is just going to be Speed and Consistency. So we do have four Muscle Band. Try to get one of those on Landorus right away. Use those Hammerheads. Our supporter cards, we're going to have four Professor Juniper, four N of the Standard, uh, three Karina, and then three VS Seeker, along with two Lysander to bring out some Pokemon to finish them off, uh, as well as one AZ. Uh, this is a supporter that allows you to pick up one of your Pokemon, and this is obviously great because it has synergy with Crobat. Right after you fully evolve a Crobat, you can play AZ, pick up the whole line back to your hand, play them all over again. This can also be good since Landers only takes one energy to attack. You know, say you Hammerhead, you take a hit, 
You can play AZ, bring him back to your hand, put him back down, put down another energy, and get back to using Hammerhead without giving up two prizes. So, something to keep in mind. Seems like a pretty solid fit for this deck. Uh, we have three Ultra Ball. Only three, because we do have the three Karina to search out the fighting Pokemon. I could see running four, but we only have three. Uh, one Computer Search. This is our A spec card for the deck. Again, just a very consistent, hard-hitting deck. Allows us to search for any card. We do have two Switch and one Escape Row for some switching cards, if, in case we need those. And one Professor's Letter as well. Just a great target for Karina to get some energy into our hand. So that's it. This is um, honestly an extremely simple deck list, but it is very effective. And I hope I can show that in a game I played on Pokemon TCG Online. So let's take a look at what we got here. Going up against Dylan Decker on Pokemon TCG Online. And uh, hopefully we get a good game in here. Um, now if, this, if, if you're looking for a deck that just has quick games, this is it. Uh, this deck, it's either going to win quickly or you're probably going to lose quickly. One of the two. Most of the time you end up winning quickly because it just puts out so much damage so quickly. So we do see a Verizian EX from my opponent. I would assume this is going to be a Verizian Genesect deck. So we'll see how this goes. I'm actually opening up with a very strong hand. I have Fighting Stadium, Muscle Band, Strong Energy. That's really, really good. Um, so we're actually going to be able to Hammerhead for 90 damage on the first turn. And that's downright silly. Uh, my opponent did not play a Supporter. So instead of playing the end here, I'm going to Computer Search, discard a Halucha, and actually grab Professor Juniper instead. Don't want to give my opponent a new hand if, you know, they, they don't have anything good. Uh, managed to get a second Zubat into play, uh, along with a Howlucha. Going to put that one down. And boom, Hammerhead for 90 on the first turn. That's kind of silly. Um, one energy 90 first turn. All of a sudden, this Verizian EX is in danger of being knocked out next turn. Now, we do see an enhanced hammer. Going to discard the strong energy off of Landorus EX. That'll uh, potentially stop uh, a knockout next turn. I do have plenty of things to get me a knockout, though. You know, if I get another strong energy, I'll be able to do 90. Or just a fighting energy plus a Golbat. That would also work. So we do have things we can do. Uh, we do see an Ultra Ball for a Genesect EX right here. So this is the obvious strategy for a Verizian Genesect deck. Uh, Emerald Slash onto your Genesect and go from there. So my opponent honestly has the perfect start he wanted. Uh, turn 1, Verizian Attach. That's really all you can ask for with this kind of a deck. And then turn 2, Emerald Slash. Even an Enhanced Hammer on my Landers. But you can see how much pressure we've already put on. Normally with Verizian Genesect, you like to get two Emerald Slashes off with your Verizian. Right? You want to power up two Genesect and then go from there. You don't care if the Verizian gets knocked out if you powered up two Genesects because, well, you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. But in this case, um, that Verizian's only going to get to Emerald Slash once. Because we do have a Golbat, we can Sneaky Bite, put 20 damage on the Verizian EX and uh, just kind of go from there. Right, the 70 from Hammerhead will finish it off. And then my opponent's just left with, you know, kind of one Genesect against the world. And that's pretty much how it's looking right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play Karina. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of extra I could do this turn. So I kind of just want to get another Zubat or maybe a Golbat into play. Both of those would be decent options right here. Um, so I'm going to Karina for a second Holucha and then... And Ultra Ball, uh, we'll go ahead and Ultra Ball, discarding a Fighting Energy and a Landorus EX. Don't need another one anytime soon, I don't think. I could get hit by a G-Booster, but then, you know, Halucha is pretty good against Genesect. Um, it'll dish out quite a bit of damage, especially if we get some Golbat and Crobat action going on. So I'm actually going to favor the Halucha here instead of the other Landorus. And there we go, Hammerhead for 70 and then 30 damage to the benched Genesect EX. So turn two, we have managed to knock out an EX and put 30 damage on board. And we've only had to use one Golbat. 
think of how much damage we can actually deal in the coming turns. If we get enough Golbat and Crobat into play, it'll be pretty silly if you think about it. Uh, so we do see a Plasma Energy from the Genesect. It'll be interesting to see if my opponent uses Red Signal, and indeed he does, seeing that, oh boy, Crobat puts three damage counters on. Uh, let's get rid of that thing. And then we do see an N from my opponent as well. Uh, my hand has no supporter, unfortunately, but, you know, there, there's stuff to work with. This is a very low-maintenance deck. You don't need a lot to pull off big turns. So even a strong energy on Halucha is going to result in 100 damage. Uh, that Golbat will go down. Landers will get hit for the 20 damage on the bench. But, hey, that's fine. We can live with that. Um, I, I can go ahead and evolve to Golbat here. Use the Sneaky Bite. Put 20 damage on the Genesect. And uh, to put that in perspective, if I got a, a Muscle Band or a second Golbat here, Flying Press would knock out Genesect. And just take him off the board and leave my opponent with no energy in play. That That is downright silly. Uh, that's that's just what all of these damage modifiers, the Golbat and the Crobat, give you just an explosive burst that uh, no other decks really have. So even though I'm 20 short of knocking out this Genesect, next turn all I really have to do is evolve to a Golbat or Crobat, and I can actually knock out Genesect with an ability. And then still attack something else, which is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Now, my opponent does Ultra Ball for a Mr. Mime here. That's something that probably would have helped a long time ago, but right now, I don't know how much it'll really do. We do see an Energy Switch and a Professor Juniper, so my opponent realizes, okay, uh, this ship is going down. I don't really want to attack with Genesect. Uh, probably trying to get an Emerald Slash off, if possible. Uh, an Emerald Slash would be pretty big to get some additional energy into play onto another Genesect. Uh, but, oh, looks like my opponent's just going to have to promote Mr. Mime here, and that's no good. Uh, we do see a Chorus Machine. So it looks like my opponent actually missed an energy this turn. Even if my opponent had gotten an energy there, I don't know... Uh, my opponent would have needed a Muscle Band as well to knock out Halucha. Uh, I top deck a Golbat here. That's perfect just to knock out that Genesect on the bench. So we get two prizes from an ability. Um, and the two prizes were pretty decent. I got a Professor's Letter and AZ. So we got some options here, definitely. Uh, I'm certainly going to play the Professor's Letter, grab a couple energy, and uh, probably put them or put an energy on Landorus and try to power up a big Land's Judgment to finish this game off. Uh, Landorus, you know, Hammerhead is the main attack, but Land's Judgment is a really underrated cleanup attack that can just get you your last prizes. Uh, Land's Judgment, I mean, it does 150 base damage if you discard all the energy. And then you throw in Muscle Band, Strong Energy, Fighting Stadium. Man, nothing's really going to survive a Land's Judgment if you manage to get it powered up. So just always something to keep in mind. It is a monster of a Pokemon. So I'm going to use the AZ, pick up the Crobat, put the Zubat back down. And now all of a sudden we have a Golbat and a Crobat to work with next turn. So that's 50 damage we can put on the board. And this is absolutely devastating for my opponent. You can see, even though my opponent got a turn to Emerald Slash, I have put on so much pressure that all he's been able to do is take one prize, and that's pretty ridiculous. I mean, Verizian Genesect, always a contender, always a good deck, a strong deck, and it's just kind of getting picked apart here by simple Landorus, Halucha, and Crobat. So this should give you an idea of how strong this kind of a deck really is when it's, uh, when it's rolling. And here we go. I'm just going to sneaky bite and knock out the Mr. Mime. Go down to one prize, and whatever my opponent promotes here, it is game over. I'm going to attach a third energy to the Landers EX, and lands Judgment for a whopping 190 damage. Sorry, Deoxys. Goodbye. And that is a victory for Landorus and Crobat, and I guess Howlucha as well. Um, so yeah, I hope this shows you guys that there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of viable 
competitive strategies in the game right now. There, it's not just one deck, one card dominating the game right now. You can run so many different things currently. I mean, I can't even keep track of all the decks that have won city championships so far and are constantly being threats at these tournaments. I can probably think of 10, 15, maybe 20 different decks that could win a tournament at any time. So this is a great time for diversity. Um, there are all sorts of opportunities to come up with creative ideas, and this is just an example of that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.